I am Dr. O.K. N. Vaikun Trajo. I am a pediatric neurologist from Bangalore. Currently, I am working at Indira Gandhi Institute of Child Health, Bangalore. I also visit at Sagar Hospital, Jayanagar and Cloud9 Hospital, Jayanagar. And in my clinic at Vijayanagar Child Health, Neurology and Rehabilitation Center. Spinal dysrapism, as I told, it is a general term. There are various uh, subtypes. So you need to assess clinically one of the, some of the subtypes are uh, syringomalia. In syringomalia where uh, they have sometimes uh, there is a weakness, sometimes uh, loss of sensation that can cause uh, ulcers in the foot or sometimes ulcers over the hand also or it can cause uh, bowel and bladder incontinence also. So where uh, usually if uh, syringomalia is the reason then you need to do uh, surgical management if there is a drainage of spinal cord fluid. Or if it is the only mild form, then you need to give medicine and you need to prevent ulcers or weakness with physiotherapy. Other types of spinal dysrapism like uh, diastomatomalia, where there is a splitting of uh, cord, the spinal cord into two parts and sometimes it may be also as a bone uh, defect or it may be due to uh, tethering of cord where the cord, the spinal cord is attached to the lower part of the sp spine. So in these conditions, usually uh, the management is basically surgical where uh, you need to remove the spinal cord where it is uh, attached lower down and uh, you need to repair and uh, if there is already there is a problem in uh, legs because of this problem like uh, deformity then you need to do physiotherapy or splinting and also orthopedic surgery sometimes required um, some of them may be associated with neurogenic bladder or bowel where there is a urinary problem where you need to monitor uh, urinary uh, infection or some other kidney problem also then you need to treat appropriately